Hello, this is an introduction to uncovering the missing secrets of magnetism. This is a 6 inch by 2 inch thick neodymium N48 and let me jokingly call myself God of Ferrofluid here. Let me show you something that you cannot buy online and that nobody knows about and this is the first time you will ever see it ever in the whole world make it yourself make it cheap make it better no one's ever seen this before and there's one that I won't mention because I'm trying to get it patented it's a special su suspension that no one has ever seen now here we go we got ferrofluid here over our giant super magnet you see that? Now this is 10 drops of ferrofluid in a sugar solution. What you do is you take this test tube or any vial like it and you put in a large pincer of sugar and some hot water, shake it up to dissolve it, drop in your 10 drops of ferrofluid and fill the rest of it up with water and then seal it off. This is what basic you'll find everywhere for sale. I've tested a lot of different suspensions of ferrofluid. Now let's look at a neater one. One that no one's ever seen. Here you go. Same amount of ferrofluid. I don't know if you can see it in the video very well. But they form fine little hairs. Can you see that? Let me bring them up here. How you create this is you stick in 70 or 90 percent isopropyl alcohol and then drop in your 10 drops of ferrofluid. Now the question becomes is on this huge magnet when you bring it towards the center why does the ferrofluid fling out to either end of the beaker. Well, download the free book Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism. That's kathodos.com forward slash magnetism dot pdf. That's kathodos, k-a-t-h-o-d-o-s dot com forward slash magnetism dot pdf. It's a free book. Second edition, 110 pages. Third edition is going to be an additional 40 pages. Make your own ferrofluid. You can order it on eBay. Nobody out there has ever made ferrofluid with this suspension before with isopropyl alcohol. You can't see it too extremely well without a strong backlight, but this is the best suspension. There's actually another suspension that doesn't use ferrofluid, but another ferrous material that I'm trying to get patented that actually shows the vortex nature of a magnet. This is conventional ferrofluid using sugar, basically sugar water. The full saturation. You see the spikes? Now you ask yourself, as I come closer to the magnet, why a ferrofluid is basically just nanoparticle uh, nanoparticles of iron in a uh, in a viscous uh, oil solution? You can make a really crappy analog of ferrofluid by using a ferromagnetic toner ink in baby oil, although it's really crude and it doesn't work as well as this nanoparticle ferrofluid or professional ferrofluid. Why when I bring this to the center of the magnet is it pushed outwards? Well, that's because every magnet does not have two poles. It has a dielectric inertial plane along the center. They call it the block wall, but that's incorrect. That's the dielectric inertial plane. There are four pressure zones on either side and two pressure zones in a 360 degree sweep the two dielectric inertial planes, you have a centripetal field returning from the other side here. Max velocity is on the outer perimeter. Super magnet man, George Mizell, is able to create 1.5 tesla and 3 tesla magnets by stacking magnets smaller and smaller and smaller into a pyramid shape, focusing the centrifugal, meaning going outwards, magnetic velocity into the next magnet and the next magnet and the next magnet creating a very small tight pressure zone up to three teslas 
So what you think you understand about magnetism, I assure you, you do not. Download the free book, second edition, 110 pages, third edition is on the way with 40 more pages, plus or minus. You'll have the first rational, logical, sensible understanding of what a magnet is and how it works, the magnetodielectric conjugate system of vortex pressure equalization, no new age nonsense, no hokum, no tinfoil hat, crystal rubbing idiocy, this is typically found on YouTube, but the double conjugate system of dielectricity and of magnetism, how two opposing forces work in a magnet. What you think of as a magnet is not a magnet, it's a dielectric object with a ratio of 3.236 parts of dielectricity from electrification in the creation of a magnet to one part of magnetism. So the quote unquote magnet that you think is a magnet is not, it's a dielectric object with almost four times as much dielectricity which causes the magnetic vortex to process centrifugally and centripetally. That's why we consider a magnet a magnet, because magnetism is spatial, and dielectricity is, centrifu is a centripetal, is inertial, and is counterspatial. Magnetism, i.e. polarization, i.e. spatial polarization, is why we think of a magnet as a magnet. So, this isn't really part one of uncovering the missing secrets of magnetism, but I was giving you a little primer on creating your own ferrofluid. This is a isopropyl solution, isopropyl alcohol solution. Actually, this one is the isopropyl alcohol solution. I wish you could actually see the hairs very well because this is the best solution of, iso of uh, ferrofluid that you can make. It's using rubbing alcohol and ferrofluid. Use five large drops to 14 dro drops max in a test tube like this, for example. This is the standard sugar water one. You take uh, water and you saturate it to the max point with sugar, and then you drop in your ferrofluid and cap it off, and here you go. So you got this conventional one everyone buys on eBay and whatnot is sugar water. Here's one that nobody is making. which is the isopropyl solution. And the third one I'm trying to get patented that I will not tell you exactly what it is at all and it doesn't even use ferrofluid. But it is the world's first solution showing vortex movement on any magnet. Thanks for watching and watch out for the next videos, the upcoming series, Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism.